Ah, uh, good morning, my friends. Good morning. My name is Delafix, and we are going to be playing as Castile. Still, we're continuing. Uh, previously, we did take Byzantium almost completely. I've almost completely gotten all of its cores. Um, just lacking four more. Oh, actually, now he's. I think he's coring this up. Maybe. Yeah, not a core. So he'll be working on that. Uh, what I want to be doing right now is, let's take a look. Yeah, we're going to make sure that this is all vital. That is from France. That's Venice. Kind of don't want to fight Flanders already. Uh, we're going to be taking all of these. So you will start fabricating on him. Uh, the Ottomans are no longer a threat, which is absolutely brilliant. Love that. Uh, we'll just make sure that we um, start giving him some tasks to do is that are these islands oh they are road so i think this for byzantium is going to be quite nice i want to push very much into the ottoman territory um and all of that done let's take a look now if it's actually saved yes it did now we have stability issues it's definitely a problem we still need to take back crown land we are we're going to be looking at these because there are some options that I might want to go for, like the manpower option. How are my missions? Okay, so we need 60% and 100%. So that means that we could potentially just buy... Oh, we can buy a lot of trips. Hmm. Should we just do that over here? We'll go for mercs. Mercs would be the faster option because we also need to recover our manpower let's take a look we don't have any of these points built up which is a problem once these um these rebels are gone we can mothball the forts again we will make money we'll have to look into this because that is still still not ours i want to go and stay over here for now because this is also a core what is our aggressive expansion like well in all honesty that ain't that bad. Uh, all, only Moldavia is like, Oh, you're a, you're a mean person. I don't want that. And what I want to be doing in, in, the, in, in the session is getting more territory for Byzantium. Um, but also... Did we lose the worm? No, actually, no. They're still allied to Austria. Uh, but also take some territory away from Portugal. Because I do believe that we have those claims as well. And... There is something awesome that I actually found. Um, he has a Regency Council and a very weak claim. So we can wait a tiny bit. We are allied to them. We can claim his throne. And this will give us a causes bell. I kind of don't want to fight him. Because while he is about the same uh, strength as we are. And he is having Genoa. So this is only ally. We could do it. We can do it. He would be pissed and we would still get the personal union. We could also wait for the... How is it called again? The Iberian wedding. Which is also very interesting. For me at least. Uh, we're gaining 16 sales and we're using 38. That's not good. Let us... Get our lights. You're going to be protecting the trade in Sevilla. Uh, the others, we kind of don't need. They are still working here for the rebels, and we don't need to. Let us give... Let's get my transports there as well. And my heavies. This is not my heavies. These are the ones. You go... Sit over... Actually, no, we're sending you back. Send you back over there. Let us deal with these rebels first. Let's take a look at mercs. So we have about 13 troops shy. Hmm. This would fulfill that purpose. But it is extremely expensive and I do not like that. We might just take a bit longer to get those claims. We got some inward problems, as you can see. Uh, also, technology-wise and stability-wise, we're not doing that good. So, let us go. We have 23 days. Then we'll uh, attack um, I Ipris? Ipris. And I'm still considering on what to do with him. 
should we, since only Venice is then bordering him as well as the Knights and potentially the Ottomans. Who's this? And Genoa. There we go, and Genoa. I think we should release him as a vassal. Because it's going to take... How long? Um, MX Vessel. If, oh, wait. Oh, we really? Oh, cool. That's just two years. Never mind. Uh, we're going to be spending a lot of our, our, our efforts into making him happy. We're going to integrate him. And force feeding him into Byzantium. Uh, the other ships will do whatever it is that they do best. I would like to go for... Trade power right now. Or just the maintenance modifier. The maintenance modifier is also quite nice right now. Considering we are... We're only spending 3.10. So, it's a bit iffy. It is a bit iffy. We don't need to do this. 15% of that is... About 45. 45 and a bit. So, 0.45 that is. So, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, we'll just leave it for now. Don't want to spend that money. We could also go and... I should not have changed my trade options here. Uh, upgrade my estuaries, actually. Uh, for 200. That would generate more money. Uh, for now, let us get going here. Let's make two even armies. Uh, 10 and 4. And you are going to get 10 and 4 as well. Uh, not too much. I would I would like to get drilling with him. Uh, this guy is almost there. We go. He's free. No longer a valid rival. It's Morocco. Let us declare a reconquest. Uh, we don't need our allies for this. Let's go over there. Uh, that is a bit nasty, but it's fine. We just have to take his land. Also, come on, just trigger that damn Iberian where He has a Regency Council. I have a um, a old 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 ass king, which would be quite nice. Let's see, we got the Mamluks Alliance. Yeah, it, it's two years. Two years. We need to make sure that he, um, oh my, uh, my other vessel loves us. Integrate him. Feed it to the Byzantium. We'll be a bit low on the diplo points. We could, however, take an advisor. Oh, that's bad. See, that's 16. Can we can we sell a few more? It's really expensive. I kind of don't want to. We'll just go with the one. And we're sitting back this one. We'll wait for more troops. We'll get... Yeah, we're going to be looking into our estates here. I believe the nobility has the... National Manpower Modifier. Even though it will be counter-effective for the missions... I still think it's absolutely nice to get those. So, let's see what's this. The Imcumbrium. Uh, I kind of want the mill points as well. Okay, let's just leave it like this. He has 17,000 troops right now. Once we take the fort, a lot of this will disappear. Uh, we've lost the Humiliate against Morocco, which is, you know, regrettable. But that's about it. We'll take that. Build up the troops. He won't do jack about it. We'll have to be careful with these um, these smaller troops. Considering they are very much alone. We don't have claims on this. I want to take both of them and give them to Byzantium. Uh, that's a bit nasty there. Yeah, well, let them deal with it. Whatever. I'm not here for their ships. We'll have to be careful with our trade fleet, though. He's sailing over there. Which is, you know, it's nice. It is nice. Damn, man, he's growing. He's growing in size. I hate it. I think a safer option would be Mercs. Mercs and then just fight those. Uh, Portugal has been defeated. Apparently, he is aiding England in a war. How does that go for this? Let's see. He has 32 reasons to defend Portugal. Of course, we are going to bet. 
that he will have a lot of war exhaust. And that will help us attack Portugal. Attacking Portugal gathers two estuaries. So that will be two war stability. We actually do need to worry about that a tiny bit. This is problematic. Let's double dab that at least till zero. If we call in Portugal, actually if we call in Aragon, he might help me with my rebel issue. Now that I like. Let's call him in. There we go. Can never have too much money. We'll gain some more money. Let's get my mercenaries. Actually, I'm hoping that he will... Are you under a personal union? Yes, you are. Oh, if, we, if this could trigger, then that would be amazing. Don't help me attack those damn rebels. Because they are annoying. To say the damn least. Still making money, which is good. Still, we did not get anything. Uh, let's spare no expense. We got a new Cura controller, which is Burgundy. Uh, if he excommuted anyone, I would be... Not too unpleased. I would really like that. We could actually go for a attack with them. Could you just take this right now? Uh, the Golden Bull has uh, institution embracing cost and institutional spread. Yeah, he is very close at enforcing his demands. We also need to land troops over here. It's it's annoying. I waited too long to actually deal with this. Let's get mercs. Expensive mercs as well. Take the damn fort so we can attack into those rebels. He will have to lead to fight. And he still didn't do it. Oh, I don't like it. Five more months. Still not. Come on, attack those. Attack them. Attack them. Please. Please attack into those rebels. Because... I'm going to force them. And they're going to be... Un uh, they're going to help me. There you go. They will um, attack help, right? Yes, they will. They are going to reinforce that. We have enough trips. Two more months. Let's wipe them. Okay, so they don't get... Ooh, that was way too close. <laughs> that was way too close. Uh, let's get over there. And... I'll keep my mercenaries. For now. This will have to unoccupy though. Uh, we'll send some of our ships. Or actually some of our troops. Where's my transport set actually? They're right over there. So we did take this. Let's group you guys up. Let's go over there. There will be a fight. They cannot block it. Uh, we've won. There's a peace deal that we do not want to take. They still have uh, navy, right? There is 11. There is... <laughs> Ah, uh, Ragusa. Ragusa sitting down with his tree. Mighty free, okay? The War of the Roses. Okay, so this actually ensures that he won't be defending Portugal with this. And we're going to make use of that. Because how many troops do you actually have, Portugal? 17,000. Um, that's fine. Send you over there. Send you in this direction. I kind of want the English army to go off them. Do we have a truce with them? We don't. So if we declare war, we can just easily go for it. We can also wait for the Portuguese armies to be lowered. Although they're not here. Uh, you, get into a port, please. Thank you. Yeah, we'll go for this. Uh, we'll siege him down. And I think afterwards we will go for... Is it the Granada mission? I really want to do this one. We need 60% manpower. Yeah, that can be problematic. I need to drill for a long time to actually get that going. Also, I don't have loans though. I'm quite surprised about that. <clears throat> 
Okay, this is all ours. Let's uh, sue for peace. Actually, we'll do it like this. Uh, Byzantium. And Byzantium. Now we can sue for peace. Uh, we'll pay 15 Diplo and we get a tiny bit of aggressive expansion. They will not accept that considering they still have an ally which is currently being sieged down uh, by my Byzantium troops, which is great. We'll have to wait before we move our troops. Let's go and deal with those uh, small 3k armies. I think he, want to be, he wants out really, really soon. Actually, he is currently being sieged down his capital. I would not be surprised if he will accept this really, really soon. Especially... Wait, did I miss the troops? I think they went into the Ottoman territory. Or they start moving towards their capital. That is also very possible. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Can I safely move my guys? I don't think so. Okay, we need to get rid of the mercs. We'll make money. We'll make money, which is good. Government reform. I would say, let's go with national manpower. Because we need a lot of men. A lot of them. So this will go up. Yeah, it will. Sad, but it is what it is. Uh, France fighting the English over there, which is good news. Are you anywhere on low right now? You're not. Yeah, they have negative 42 reasons to accept that. We're making four, so I would like to get some advisors going. Improve relation. Uh, let's save up a tiny bit of money here. And uh, we'll start working our advisors, because that is extremely important, actually. While we wait, go drill. And let's mothball our fortresses. Because I always forget that. I always forget to mothball my forts. You are 10 right now. You still have the weak claim. Should we just attack him? We would need 60%. He would come under a personal union. But if he falls and is... He has a high liberty desire. My ruler is 52. The likeliness of him dying actually very, very soon is quite present. This guy will come on the regency. So I kind of hope that he dies before he becomes the king. This way, if Charles becomes of age, we could do the royal marriage and the Iberian wedding also happens. So I think it would be best. Let's move all these actually. Make more money. And uh, we'll get our very first... Actually, can we go for this one? Uh, the Mamluks have broken they, uh, their uh, um, alliance with us. I like that. So, currently, now we're making plus three again. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be... The vassalization is going to be the longest... Uh, Thing to work with. It's royal marriage you. And we can do the rest as well. I would actually like that. Steering trade, transferring trade. Byzantium not so much, but he does. So we'll just wait until he uh, returns. Uh, we're making the claims. Are you making claims for me? Oh, you are. Oh, you gorgeous man. You are. Uh, we can actually stop this, considering we cannot claim upon him. There's no territory here that belongs to us, so let's get the Ottoman spy network gone. And I would like to start working on Morocco. I know we'll get claims there, but it might take us a bit longer. So we might as well work on that. Also, well, no. Go over here and go with subject. And he will start working on Byzantium as well as our other fella. Who is still has a 171. We can do this. Yeah, we can do this. He will go right up there to 190. Then we integrate him. 
Integration will be a slow prog progress, of course, or progress, or whatever. You guys are in. I do need this war to happen, but I kind of need this one to, have to, to finish first. Are you willing to get out of this fight? Just, just come on, do it. They are accepting, let's do it. Now we have to wait 17 days. You are going to be sent over there. Making a good amount of money here. Let's get our very first advisor. Let's make sure that he is a Diplo for sure. I uh, like the improved relations as well as the spy network construction. But I like the, the, uh, the other one more. How is my tech going? Uh, oh wow, we're falling behind on pretty much everything. Institutional spread slowly. Uh, we either have to dev up or deal with it. Once my troops get us there... We'll go with the war with Portugal. Uh, lose a stab, gain prestige, lose money. Let's uh, lose the money here. We'll get a loan, which is actually not that bad. Let's get the military. We don't need to wait till January. We'll get better troops. Let's get them. I'll go with the assault. And assault. So there's my troops. He will go back, hunting them down, the others. We are making sailors. We can also make a flagship, which would not be such a bad idea. He still won't go for it, and I want you to stop drilling. You are there, you're going to be reinforced, you're not going to do anything. France is... that's nasty, he will siege that down. So this is either going to be a very long war. So he might annul the alliance. England is losing that fight pretty badly. I like that. That's fine. That goes, that goes. Uh, the guy's back, so let's uh, deal with this. And that will all go to Byzantium. Give me all of your money as well. Uh, too few rivals. Actually, I also need to send troops over to these islands. You got some... Uh, you're going to pick up some troops, that is. Okay, that's good. Uh, you go for it. Because I would like to get myself some crown land and rivals. How, how could I say too few rivals? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was confusing this with a flag. Considering my truce with the Ottomans. We also go with the Mamluks, but we'll, we'll grow into that. Let us go with Morocco. But now, we have a lot of building up to do. Let's see. Did we gain anything? Ah, no, not so much. We can humiliate him in the Age of Discovery. That's actually not such a bad idea. We can also humiliate, take this provinces and perhaps humiliate him. I don't think it works that way, though. Well, we'll see. Are you on your way back? Okay, so I want you to go there. We'll have to be careful of his navy. That's the one thing that I do fear. That's why I'm waiting. Actually, do you still have a navy? Let's go... Navies? Rivals. You still have a navy. So, yeah. I don't want to send those troops out right now. We're still making a lot of cash here. Let's go for admin first. Inflation. How about badly? Oh, yeah. We can actually use him. That's the wrong guy. Yearly inflation reduction. And we'll go with more discipline. Because why not? We're not making 16. I think that's a lie. And Morocco, again, no longer a valid rival. And it sucks. I don't want Aragon. Let's go with uh, with the Ottomans. I don't fear the Ottomans anymore. Uh, what we also should do... We got a free guy. Now we have a truce with him. Let's send an insult. It's not helping us. Friends then. 
will barely bring us over. Will barely bring us over. We also need to embargo the rest. At least we'll get a few points extra right now. Uh, let's wait until the troops land. Yeah, of course we lost the uh, causes bell on that. It kind of sad. We, we actually need to declare that war. Uh, France has got a trade dispute on us. Interesting. Let's close all of these up because otherwise I will lose track on where the hell I'm clicking. Let's go economic. Embargo. And next up is England. Embargo. And the Mamluks. Not, no, no, the Ottomans. But I can't embargo him because we have a truce. They have rebels. Rebels. Uh, you're at 42 right now. Why are you pissed still? Aggressive expansion. Uh, forced vassalization. Yeah, we'll integrate you as fast as possible. And there is going to be a fight, apparently, which is interesting. I kind of need them to take this back. I kind of need that to happen. But first things first, I want to take my crown lens back. Um, I would be very happy if you did this, mate. Very happy. Uh, the estates lose 10 influence. Oh no, they gain influence. I hate it when they gain influence. Uh, England apparently is not our rival, which is odd. Okay. Uh, where is my revoke embargo? Who is my rival then? Oh yeah, Portugal. I'm a dum-dum. Let's embargo Portugal. Issue embargo on Portugal. Sure, why not? Uh, let's wait until that actually goes. The second they peace out. The, 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 the war with England is still going, right? Yes, it is. 42%. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. Let's transport you back over there. And let's get back to my crown lands. Everybody loves me. That's just awesome. We need 65% here on the trade. We're making money. That's good. But we also need to make sure that we increase our estuaries. We could also go to war right now. But that will just belay the friends' assault on this. They won't take anything. And there is the navy. So I want to make sure that all of my ships are inland. You send up there. Once the guys are back. You're going for Lisbon. Uh, Lisboa. Lisboa? Oh, okay, cool. It's not... Li I'm probably confusing myself. Like always, of course. Let's uh, group you guys up. So, how many sailors can I... How many do I get? I get 21. So, what we can do is just increase the fleet. We'll go way over capacity. Keep those ships in there. And I would like to go to about 15 small ships. Uh, transport ships, of course. That's the name. <sighs> I don't need these guys to go. Could you just peace out? England has 66 reasons not to do this. And I would like to go for the uh, justified wars. I need a large city. Controlling centers of trade. Hmm. I need to upgrade them. Currently, they say I've got one. Or, or yeah, well, I think it's that's the way they count it. Yeah, one. Uh, if we upgrade the others, we'll have five. And uh, we'll take these two as well. Are you upgraded by any way? Yes, they did. Oh, <laughs> I love the AI. I love the AI for that. Thank you. So the second this, uh, this goes, it will stop. One free advisor. You keep working on him. Yeah, it, it's getting better. It's uh, it's still not good. So at 64, five years time, I want this war to be done. Uh, we'll build up a manpower. There you go. Trade. The truce has expired. And the Austrians have embraced the Renaissance. Which is good. Uh, we'll pay this back once it pops up. Come on, just stop this damn war. Uh, Landshut has decided to accept the uh, knowledge sharing of Austria. How interesting is that? Grave news. There is our queen consort. Aragon is still in the, on the regency. That is damn grave news indeed. Since I... Ah, I'd have to spend points again. Since I don't want the, um, the... The Castilian civil war to happen. Which is very likely that it will. 
But then again, we both have regencies, which is, you know, not really ideal. 